Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Today we have something a little different to mix things up from our normal runs. Instead of taking on the role of just one character's AC, we will take on the loadout of each and every AC we beat as we progress through the game. The rules for this challenge are pretty straightforward as there's only three really, and they basically turn us into some mecha equivalent of the thing or ditto, and yeah, rule one is pretty obvious, but if you beat an AC, you will take on their full loadout. Rule 2 is that you can't skip any AC fights. This is more along the lines of like Index Dunham, Lil Z, and Snail at the end. While Rule 3 is more for what ifs. But if you do beat an enemy AC during a mission, then die before you finish the mission, you do have to restart from the last checkpoint with that new AC's loadout. We start out with the loader 4 this time and have our usual start with checking licenses and inevitably wiping out the PCA helicopter. Like, I'm pretty sure I can get this. We get through without any issues and proceed to bully the Liberation Front for a few missions before we shift our sights towards Balaam and our first I'm new a AC. Fan of Grandpa? Uh, the Origin one looks pretty clean and so does the 3.0, of course, but I mean, personally, I just. Uh, I just don't see it as, like, super, super aesthetically pleasing. It's iconic, though, and I appreciate what it's established. But so, my... Oh man, I didn't, even, I didn't even finish how I got into Mecha. We can, we can finish the story now about how I slowly became a Mecha Bean. So, way back when, I think the last thing I told y'all was I used to watch Gundam Wing on Toonami. Uh, as a, as a little kid. <laughs> um, and there I fell in love with Death Scythe and Epion. And then later, once I grew older and my taste uh, matured, I was like, you know what, Toggies is the real, the real winner there in my opinion. Fair warning, I may butcher some pronunciations today, but the Tesser AC has a full Tian Kiong frame accompanied by the Ransetsu AR, a pulse blade, and the twin slow homing missiles on the left shoulder. Something interesting to note is that the Tester AC would have actually been the only Red Gun AC to use a Rubiconian weapon, an RAD booster, and a melee weapon if it uh, didn't get blown up here. So I guess we'll be the ones using that. But anyways, I did find this build essentially makes for a heavier feeling loader 4 with missiles that fit the theme, as we test the Tester against the Tetrapod in the following mission. On a couple of different occasions, but yeah, I forgot for a while that that one existed. Dun, 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 fighting aliens from above. Dun, 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 in your giant robot car. Something like that. After that, it was on to ascending to the Strider to continue wiping out what little hope the RLF had for their fight. This wasn't really different from the standard routine when it came to taking out the eye, so we'll just move over to the dam, and this time, since we appeared to be who was most likely next in line to become Gun 13, based off how this line of dialogue goes with Michigan, I'm assigning you the call sign Gun 13, a lucky little number that just became available. I had decided that we'd be following through with helping out the Red Guns this time around, and it was time to pick up our new... More like an old piece of junk. Well, new to us, AC, after we took out the generators and... Well, this time around, I was just grateful that we only had the ballsiest pilot in all of Rubicon... You're going home in armored coffins! ...waiting to make their last stand against Volta Iguaza and you. But, uh, yeah, unless you just outright choose to spare him, this really does not go well for him, of course, but as for his AC, it was just the beginning, so we part ways with our short-lived time using the Tester AC and move on to the Bichot framed... Burn Pickaxe? Despite having the best melee arms in the game, Index only uses ranged weapons, with the Etsujin or the 4 round burst machine gun in the right hand and the little gem bazooka in the left. Thankfully he does at least have one missile launcher equipped, unlike the next RLF AC we'll be apprehending. But anyways, moving on to our next mission, and well, despite looking like Index, it seems the enemy knew what we were up to as they continued to rain down artillery, but even in some old gen tech, we make our way through everything with no problem and pair up with Rusty to take on the Juggernaut once again. Oh, 
I think my heaviest damage is actually my kicks right now. Fucked up. <laughs> I'm at the finish. That thing really just needs to have the entire body lined with whatever material they have out in the front, cause that basically make it indestructible, but oh well. Next I had the choice between collecting data and fighting Z, or going and dealing with the stealthy boys first. I actually opt to take on Lil Z first, just to give myself more of a challenge when I took on the boss investigation, and after a pushover of a fight, we acquire our second digit of RLF, which basically just swapped out the handheld weapons for bazookas and the missiles for a shield. But anyways, with the UU acquired, we made our way over to a actually fairly easy set of fights with the stealth boys, as like Shaddy, it only took the 1-2 combo with the bazookas to take out each one. That is until we get to the final one and their support, which still was just a matter of time before coming through with the zooks and the kicks before we took out their barrier and then the mech. There we go. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Da, 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 da. I'm little Z. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even intend for that to come out. Next up on the list was the watch point and probably the first time we could actually feel the difficulty turning up as Sula actually gives us a pretty good run for our money. Ah, oh, this is gonna be fun. I think I have the kick. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, this is gonna be rough. Yeah, I, I was like, I didn't mean to just like shoot down what you said immediately, but I was like, ah, I have a feeling. Basically the same thing. There we go. Alright, well, I not honestly I was kinda worried about that for a second. Yeah, like past me was saying, I was actually kind of worried about that fight going south at first, but it felt like we started to get the upper hand after he got through about half my AP including repairs. Next up though, was the real test for Lil Z, as Balteus would be a much more difficult opponent to tackle with her loadout. Oh my god, you kidding me. I have gotten very lucky with him choosing not to turn his armor back on. Why did I say anything? Why do I say things? I 
appreciate you, Anubis. I've never just taken the brunt of that fucking shotgun before like that, but damn, that hit hard. Where did my FCS go right there? You are fucking me. Grab out my shield. says here i think that went better than any of us could have expected for the first try but honestly that's totally doable with that ac but in this regard we still had to swap out the sula's build which i'm not gonna lie i was extremely grateful for because he's basically set up to take on balteus and well you'll see oh that's what that is Uh, no expansion on Sula right now, so I'm gonna take that as unless you're doing New Game Plus Plus, he does not have one. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> and he even let me, like, he really was nice to me during the Z fight. He gave me many opportunities, like, he would, he put his shield up way faster than the Z fight. Oh wow, I did not expect that to do that. God damn. So what fucking doing good. That was an interesting one, I'll admit. I like Sula's build a lot, holy shit. It felt natural. 
Yes, you can probably tell by my comments towards Sula's build, I really ended up liking how he played, so it was a bummer that I only get to use him for this in grid 86, but he'll make a return soon enough. Onwards now to Carla's hideout where we take out the OG homie Invincible Rummy and acquire our next AC that I'm definitely looking forward to using again. Oh well, at least this got y'all some more Rumsel man lines. <laughs> you know what else confuses me? My uh, future me here. While getting the footage for everyone, I kind of hovered over Nozak and realized that we skipped him. So we did break rule two, but that would have made this way easier. So there's that, but at least it makes for a harder run. He's just kind of forgettable, so I forgot to fight him, but uh, I'll try to remember next time we do one of these. Anyway, I head on over to the sweeper where it goes exceptionally well for the first half. Um, why are you still spinning? You're not remotely close enough for me. You sure? You sure about that? I haven't done it. I didn't do it last time. Woo. Ah, oh, damn. I was about to be like, am I gonna accidentally get this hit list? Cause that, I was like, I was like, I, I could feel you watching me intensely, Nubis. <laughs> like, don't you dare, you motherfucker. The answer was Sula this whole time. There we go. That was a pretty clean fight, but this victory was bittersweet, as we knew it meant parting ways with the Entangle and saying hi once again to the Rummeister's mad stomp. Ooh. <laughs> we make short work of the coyotes talking smack when. Um, let me just show you one of their mechs. If you've ever seen the Grave Digger decal, which I actually think I have saved on this thing, um, it's what's from. Not the Grave Digger. Not not the monster truck. <laughs> Fun. That's a very good question. That's a fucking very good question. Damn, homie. Huh. Well, we'll get back to that later. We move on to our first huddle with the sea spider, but not before having one laser shit, save shit, me from getting shit, killed shit, by the shit. second laser. Oh my god. Yeah, sure, Carla. If that's what you want to call that. Though I guess just dodging them all together would have been the optimal strat, but oh well, hey, at least Rummy didn't die to him a second time. Anywho, this fight was actually looking pretty good in the first half, but when it came to the second phase, I've had it in my mind for some reason to try and dodge through attacks, which between that and some big no, hits, no. we got down to the wire when... <laughs> yeah. A few more attempts go by and, well, they all get to phase two, but inevitably it takes me out at some point when four deaths later,
Like, I hate that it, like, starts mitigating your damage when it changes phases. Like, why? Good use of the chainsaw to prevent me from taking a hit. Ouch. Really? I thought that was gonna fucking do it. There. Ah, uh, shit. That was bullshit. Uh, did I break it? Okay, I was like, what the fuck just happened? Oh, no, no. Don't you fucking dare. Holy shit. Carla, I don't want to fucking hear it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what those noises were at the end. The sound of a disgruntled walrus piloting this thing. <laughs> Alright, yeah. After shipping the disgruntled walrus to the Arctic once again, we go ahead and grab the data and then take out the PCA forces in the warship without any issue. After that, it was time for our fight with Swinburne, and I'll just let what decision I went with play out here. I'm almost worried I would kill him right here. There we go. Did that your shot miss me? No, I don't think it did. But I mean, I mean, do like how you want to do everything. Yeah, and honestly, like your your no hit guys and stuff, and like is uh good, but uh, like uh, I think your voice is fine, homie. Both y'all. Honestly, Anubis, the way your mic is set up, it almost sounds like you're talking over like the comms and the suits. So I, I think that actually would like play to your benefit. Why did I? Oh, I didn't have any E in this way. Now you probably can't tell I'm trying to do it, but I did try to use my energy thing back on him. But I, like my, I don't have my, my assault armor, but I tried. You know, at least he has two shields, minimum, that we get to use. Bam! Mine! Mine! Fuck! Uh, phobe, I hope you're pop, but fun, fun. Why? Uh, I'm like key fob, <laughs> but fun. Uh, first try. 
And with that, the shinobi of Arolef was here to replace our old coral fiend king and, well, to be honest, I was much happier to have such a well-rounded build back again, especially with the Urtra boys being the next fight. So, yeah, we make our way through the stage, taking out some of the enemies here and there to get a better feel for the build when uh, I accidentally do this. I remember seeing a thing questioning if uh, Renketsu was a uh, All Mind candidate because he has the uh, Plasma Whip. Oh, okay, the Lance Boy does have the weird charge. The Plasma Boy doesn't. Did I say his name wrong? What did I say? The guy I am. <laughs> I will take that 761 AP back. I don't know if that was the right math. I think that was. I think I combined his name with his gun. Uh, that was weird. <laughs> That's his new name. Mr. Renketsu. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> That's silly. Oh yeah, what's my shoulder? I haven't even tested it out. I just totally forgot to. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, it is a javelin. Does it? What part? Is it his chest? I feel like that'd be the only part, because everything else I'm looking at is like... Like Flatwell's build. Oh shit, you were right! I think that is the All Mine chest. Hot diggy damn, look at that. Maybe there's more to that than we thought. Well, that was probably the cleanest fight I've had with the Urkha Boys in a while, and with them out of the way, it was time to go back and redeem ourselves from how the tech salvage prevention mission went last time. And, well, I'd like to say I did a fairly good job of that. Are you fucking me? Ah! Now I have the bubble! Bro, video game music, like, is so underrated sometimes. But then I feel like I go and look at Spotify when I see video game soundtracks, they have a lot of views and listens and stuff, so I'm like, maybe not! Like, there's one song I want to add to the streaming playlist really bad, but I don't know if Street Fighter 6, how they go about their shit. Are you fucking me? And he's dead right here. Alright. Y'all are pissing me off. What's up? Ah, that's such a relief. Now I can talk all the shit I want. Anyways, now it's time to take out some of the special effects causing the fog at the Xylem so we can throw down with the PCA once more and we have a moderately tedious battle with the helicopter after we take out its lackeys when I finally land one of my only well-placed charge attacks with this weapon. Climactic finish!
Yeah, so I, I didn't think to use it until the last second. I was like, I talked about it and then I forgot to actually uh, deploy it until the last second when I was like, oh wait, I can make this flashy. Now, this was all said and done during the same stream where I had closed out the Raven run, so I decided to call it a night after this mission. Now, it seems I can't go a video without doing this, but the next day I did forget to record for those last two missions that were on this set, so Twitch VODs it was, but one of them is defending the RAD missile from the Coyotes, so not that big a deal. We'll just move on to the much more entertaining fight with the Cataphract, and well, to be genuine, my first attempt, I was staying on the ground for way too much of the fight. I did start to bring it back after I realized, but by this point I had already used up all my repair kits, so though it was close, I ultimately take the L. However, the next attempt goes yeah, much better. Yeah, Star Trek future. That's what I would say that's, uh, I need, ah oh man, Star Trek is something I've meant to get into more than once and just, uh, never have. Not that I'm, like, don't think I'd enjoy it, or that I'd find it interesting. Oh shit, wrong weapon up. And I was hitting his butt anyway. Damn, he takes that thing out, like, instantly. Fuck. I had already set it in motion. It's already been set in motion, dude. What just happened, but we'll take it. I just need a warm up fight, that's all it was. Oh, shit. There we go. I probably just need to warm up, and with the last mission being such a mindless endeavor, it probably didn't do the job I needed to get there, but yeah. Now that, that was said and done, it was back to wiping out the PCA warships with some go. antics in between. Now I'm recording. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, we need, we need LC mods, so then I can do that, they can be part of the Ditto mission. Er, mission. Ditto. Anyone ever seen uh, Open Season, like the movie with the bear and like the deer Elliot? I can't remember the bear's name right now. If anyone has seen Open Season, there's a fucking porcupine, right? And he goes, buddy. And I always think of that thing when Rusty says buddy. Okay, scamper on back to the woods, little buddy. <laughs> buddy. Can I land on this? Uh, anyways, we'll just skip ahead to taking out the LCs in the last two warships so we can join back up with good old buddy old pal Rusty once again to have our 2v2. Bro, I 
I hate those. <laughs> I wanted to work. Damn, this shotgun has ammo quick. That was after the resupply, too. Where are you even, Rusty? Don't pull a Volta. What the hell are you doing? Sir. Sir. <laughs> Oh no! Well, that fight was... something. Both Rusty and I could have done better there, but anyways, moving on. Next was a big decision to make on the path to the underground because, well, essentially we were going to need someone who could take on the Enforcer the first try, or we'd be facing him with the Guazu's Headbringer. Initially, I was thinking I'd be choosing between Brute and Raven, but that's when I realized that because I decided to redeem myself from last run's HCLC fight, well, I'd be defending the dam this time. Okay, so looking back, I would have done this much differently, but yeah, I chose to take on the dam first because I was pretty confident that I could beat it first try with Roke. Okay. King, uh, I, I can still see the lasers on my screen. King, wipe me the fuck out. Holy shit. There we go. <laughs> I'm in danger. You're fucking me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, is there still 3,000 away? Okay, we have a chance. But I think she he has at least one more health bar. Well, that's not what I meant to fucking do. No, no, please, for the love of God, no. 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 All right, well, here comes Chartreuse. <laughs> oh no. Well, I had no idea what I was about to be in for. Oh, fuck. If that hits. What just happened? Huh. Why can't I fucking boost? Being really tanky is, uh, very helpful. Huh. Huh. Yeah, and thank you. I, I honestly, like, I, as soon as I realized I hit the button for that, I was like, oh, let me aim at that, I guess. But that was, that was... It was an accident. There was no way, like, I could have, like, just known that would that she'd fly right there. But, uh, I mean, it happens somehow. Huh. I can see why. Also, I like that Chartreuse's build has, uh... Huh. Huh. Hey, you know, that's, uh, we'll uh, um, huh. Okay, I was not expecting Chartreuse to be able to wreck shop like that. 
Is this how Volta feels every time he wipes the floor with someone? Like, goddamn. Anyway, now that that was said and done, there's no way we make a mistake as we go into the next mission. Yep. No way. I... <sighs> Anywho, we move on to taking out Brute in our new overpowered hover tank so we can acquire the rail cannon once again and... Yeah, as I expected, this was kind of Oonga Boonga blast away and win. I had the salt boost muscle memory, but uh... Okay. Well, it was good knowing this surprisingly very nice build. Now that we had Brute, we can move on to the Ice Worm, where we of course bend the rule for the sake of time, and man, the only viable option he had for his EN capacity was the Stun Needle and Chainsaw, so we drop everything else and make our way to the fight where we eventually take it out. Armor expansion, kicks, and every everything combined. I think I could have probably shot a stun needle right there as well, but I, uh... Yeah, you're right. Also, you know what I, like, I realize what we could have done as well is beat Chartreuse or King with Brute, and then we would have gotten them. Killed Raven. There it is. Oh shit, I killed Raven. I fucked up. I didn't play Raven against Brute. Hold on, real, real quick. I'm just gonna do this for the sake of like the fact that I didn't. Yeah, I, I fucked up. Uh, we'll go back to that mission real quick and I'll just beat Brute as Raven. Yeah, I don't know if I made that obvious enough, but uh, Chat and I did not notice until I had this epiphany here, and then not long after I have another one about Snail Teus' ending. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! You don't understand what the fuck? Fuck! No! Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> fuck! It's either Chatty or Carla versus Snail Teus. Maybe ah, I don't know about that no more. Breakdowns aside, we need to go ahead and redo this mission. And yeah, I'm sure it'll be over with in a jiffy anyway. So we'll just. <laughs> I can't believe I just lost the brute. Well, that is the face of someone who meant to charge their pile bunk, but uh, surely that can't happen again. I didn't see that first one. Well, that was a relief. Thankfully, I really stepped up my game the second time. Just like the cataphract fight. Oh no, is this gonna be the run's theme? Now that we had everything corrected with the run, we had our descent into the depths of Rubicon next, where we'll just skip over the Nepenthes and get straight into what's actually of interest for this run. We all knew the Enforcer was gonna be the real challenge, but we still had to take Iguazu out on the way. The reason Brute is because he's the last person we beat. So like, right now, if I lose the... After I beat Iguazu, if I lose to the Enforcer, like, I'll have to beat Iguazu. But e either way, next mission I'll beat Iguazu, even if I beat the Enforcer with Brutes by some miracle.
I had a feeling he was gonna jump that way. Yeah, the beginning of that was kind of rough, but this was my first real fight with this AC as well, and he does the complete opposite of how I'd build the loadout, so it was a bit daunting at first, but hey, we managed to pull through, and like I always say, a win's a win. However, now it was time for the real test with the Enforcer. The issue is that the flamethrower doesn't do any stagger. So I'm basically just relying on my missiles. I guess I could do this. Oh no. Oh no, it's the rummy run all over again. Good thing this only has to happen once if I die. Did I just find something really cool? Oh man, I was cheesing that. I think I fucked him up a little bit. Oh no. What the fuck? I should have used my expansion. Damn, that was such a close fight, and that cheese in the corner would have been insane if we could have exploited it the entire time, but alas, it was time to move into our new AC, Headbringer, which, looking back, this technically isn't the AC loadout he was using here, so, uh, I did kind of end up doing this with the harder loadout than I needed to, and this also technically wasn't the right AC to be using for the next couple of fights I had Headbringer in, but oh well, I'll get back to the Enforcer now. There we go. You have no expansions.
completed? Oh shit. Despite that being close, I had some learning to do with the Curtis Ludlow combo, and well. Motherfucker! God damn it! <sighs> Another three deaths later, I really get into the groove with the Curtis and see why it's such a beloved weapon. Yeah, it's- I, I want to use his gun more, actually. Oh no, fuck! I just figured- I, I, I finally figured out how I need to be playing this. Oh, not like that! Not like that! Why do I say shit? Why do I ever say a goddamn thing? Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Whatever, freelancer. It's funny that his thing's a hermit crab. I mean, a hermit crab? What the fuck? Uh, that is not a hermit crab. That is a, a, a scarab beetle? Some sort of beetle. What the fuck? What them there? That is a hermit crab. Maybe I thought its mouth was like a pincher in my brain for half a second? I don't fucking know. That is not a hermit crab, though. <laughs> uh. Well, it's official. Iguana Zoo's emblem is a hermit crab scarab beetle. Why? Because I have poo brain. Anyways, it was on to taking out the laser grid and surprisingly acquiring a new AC already because we actually had the ephemera to face here and it did get a little closer than I prefer, but ultimately we pulled through. 
All right, initially I was actually pretty excited about this because it had my favorite core and the nebula, but uh, I may have forgotten about the nerfs to the nebula and I've barely used the moonlight despite putting on a few builds, so the next fight doesn't go quite how I anticipated. Hawkins down, Pater's up. If I hadn't run out of ammo, I don't know if that would have gone nearly as bad as it did, but I ate some attacks that I shouldn't have and also forgot how the punch can extend overload staggers, so we ultimately reload as Hawkins and jump back into the fight for round two. He died last time, that was weird.
Well, uh, that went a lot better, and now we had an even shorter lived AC run than the Ephemera, so it was time to become the shortest lived V5 in the history of Vespers, probably, and take on the role of Pater's dual nature as we acquire our first reverse jointed AC. Next up was to make our way to our once buddy, now temporarily buttimy, Rusty, and I love his original Steel Haze, so between him and Flatwell, yeah, I knew I was gonna take out last. He's got a shield out, oh, please. I feel like I might have, but I also am like, maybe I didn't. Fuck, 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 fuck. Actually, I would, I would have been fine, actually, because I have the uh, protection. Motherfucker. Damn, that was close. And, uh, as my not so subtle foreshadowing hinted earlier, for some reason, since Brute, I just kept having these second try attempts to actually win the fight. But, oh well, despite the sudden transition to Flatwell's build, it's not like I really had gotten accustomed to Pater's, so yeah, I actually ended up feeling pretty comfortable with his AC from the get go, but I'll just let the fight play out. Air, we literally just helped him. Holy oh, shit. Don't like me, cause I'll do it. Best and I'll go to the blah 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 blah. Oh, it's a model Man. Oh, 
Oh, what? That wasn't it? Oh, okay, it was. I was like, that didn't do it? It's funny, because that kick would have had him sliding back just like the cutscene did, so that was kind of cinematically appropriate. Ah, GG, Rusty. I always love the high-intensity fights where it just gets neck and neck, and we're both scrambling to get in that last hit, but I did need to apprehend your AC, and, uh... Speaking of, I am so glad that I now had the Steel Haze in my possession because our next fight was with Cell 240 and as long as I could cut through Snail's cannon fodder without one of them taking me out. Oh, I miss being super fast. This feels so good. I can't like begin to tell you how much better this feels. Oh, well, I didn't have to. Yeah, with Steel Haze's loadout, that was of no issue this time around. The real question at hand, though, was if I could take out Cell 240 on the very first attempt, because if not, that meant I'd have to resort to Majorlink's AC, which actually didn't stray far from how I like my builds, but both Steel Haze and my Pride were on the line here, so I had to make sure to give it my all. God, I miss having 370 something boost speed. What a speed demon. What? You were right on top of me and I didn't stagger you. First try, baby. Let's go. I just need a rusty. And that means I get to keep Rusty into the next part, yes! That means I get to keep Rusty for a few more matches! That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Uh, yeah, don't worry. I realized during the escape how this would actually go. Oh wait, no, I still have to be Mater Link. I just realized. I can't do it this mission, but next mission I have to be Mater Link. Because I was the last person I beat, duh. I almost fucked up my own rules. So it'll be Materlink versus I can avenge her! I'm gonna kill Snail with Materlink. Like the first. I'm gonna beat Snail. I can't kill her kill him with Materlink because unfortunately I have to do it as either Carla or Chatty. Yep, you heard it right. It was time to get revenge for Materlink, and though we were just hijacking her infection AC, we could still at least represent her in spirit, but first we had to defend the xylem. This was a pushover as usual, though we did have some backup. Man, these things are either all or nothing every time I use them, but anyways. After that, it was time for Carla's betrayal, where we could exact some revenge on Snail along the way before ultimately having to choose between Chatty and Carla for the finale of this run, and... 
Well, I'm sure y'all can probably guess who I'm going to go with, but first it was time for Mater Tot Revenge. have to fight the, the Carla and Shaddy fight as snail based off how this is going. Oh shit. No, 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 hit me with the wings. Okay. okay. Shit. Oh, I thought that would kill him, honestly. I thought I was gonna, like, break and then... That's how Materlink would do it, maybe not. Well, we sure showed him and hijacked another AC, which we would be needing very shortly, seeing as how we had practically no AP or ammo once we entered the fight with Carla and Shatty. Uh, but oh well, we do get Carla down pretty far before ultimately... yeah. So we're gonna have to be using Snail's... open faith? Huh. I'm surprised it's not undying Faith with how much of a megalomaniac he is, but anyways, getting a melee weapon back in addition to having a stun buildup combo was very welcome, though that's not to say I didn't like Mater Link's build, this was just a better setup to punish, which, speaking of... You know, the full course meal thing is kind of funny when you think about the fact of her, her part names. That like, Carla's making dad jokes over here as she's fighting you to death. I never like, even really kind of put that together. Does, do these legs have some like hidden properties about like, making them like Dom legs? Not me, obviously, <laughs> but like, in Gundam. Yeah, no, I thought you could close it. Oh, he just has plasma missiles. I've been this, this entire time I've been trying to charge us up like drones. Caddy, stop moving a million fucking miles an hour when you don't have the actual speed. I know you're a liar. Guess I can do everything. Guess you win, tourist. Alright, if you had guessed Chatty earlier in the video, you were right. To be perfectly honest, I just did not want to try and use a slow, unfamiliar build at one of the hardest fights in the game, and seeing as how I had a full run's worth of experience with Shaddy's build, yep, our boy was going to be getting another finale much sooner than I was anticipating. Anywho, it was time to meet up with Rusty one last time this run, as we went through and take out the generators and then the sweeper once more. Ah, it's always too short-lived, buddy. Rusty heads his way, and I head mine, when we meet the most oblivious person in the entire world of Rubicon. Either that, or they were hoping that we would just ignore them if they didn't acknowledge us. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You were unaware that I just jumped on your head, good sir?
sell them raw? Nope. You know what? We'll let him live. <laughs> we'll let him live. But yeah, we take out the last two generators and use a supply ship, but when I get hit in the back with some missiles, whereas I'm loading in. Hey! 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 That's some bullshit. Yeah, hold up. <laughs> Ignore me, I'm dumb. Oh shit, oh shit. I can't. That wasn't me. I mean, it was, but it wasn't. I was a different person then. Shoot. 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 Yes. Ah, oh, what? What? I would have extended it. I could have. Ah, oh, whatever. Uh oh. Good thing in phase two yet. Oh shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck. I think if I just play this better next time, I, this is very doable. Oh shit. Speaking of which. Like playing better. I call bullshit there. I call extra bullshit there. That wasn't too bad for the first try, but oh well, the next attempt started off better, but ultimately he started kicking the shit out of me in the second phase. Oh, fuck. third attempt was probably the worst of them so far, and then on top of that, my, well, everything just messed up and disconnected for a second. Am I... what just happened? That was weird. Oh, my camera froze. Interesting. So... That was kind of weird and messed up my rhythm a bit, but yeah, in the end he just kept whooping me after I fixed everything anyway, so... On to the fourth attempt, which had a few noteworthy moments. Bro. It's not like Chatty's legs really give much leeway for jumping like, over that attack. Be 
big tsundere. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> Nobody liked that. <laughs> oh no. Ah, fuck you in that boat. Like, what do you do? What do you do for that attack? What? Fuck you! Fuck your shit! One of the main things I feel like I showcased here was how annoying his full power bubble wave thing was to dodge because even if you were trying to float preemptively, he would just track you and hit you with the full force of it anyways! The times I successfully dodged this were few and far between to say the least. Anyways, attempt 5 and, well, uh, I'll just let you see well, how this one played out. What the fuck, camera? Okay then. I don't know what just happened. That was not good. Not good at all. Yeah, what well, would I f shoot? I can probably catch it in the corner of my eye. I swear that was it. Come on, get right here. You fucking cunt! Sorry. <laughs> that was hacks! That was fucking hacks! Did 
You forget who the fuck I am, Baltarius? Oh no, I shouldn't have said that right then. Oh, get him right here. Please, what am I doing? Oh, I'm out of ammo! Holy fuck! Yeah, that was rough. I was so distraught that I actually forgot to add the death here, so we'll just do the usual and add that back on at the end, but damn, that was some bullshit with that first missed out overload, and I was so hyper-focused on Snail Tails that I didn't realize I was out of ammo, but uh, the cherry on top of it all was that his shield got back up right as the carpet bombs brought him to what I imagined had to be like 1 AP, like... Anyway, let's run this back one more time. It's because I said, you don't know who the fuck is, whatever, whatever I said. The universe was like, stop that. Get some help. <laughs> Why do you why do you choose to treat me like such? Eh? I just I, I I don't understand how you can be such full of bullshit, you motherfucker! Sorry. <laughs> Second phase early again. Oh no. If I can just stay behind him. Hmm. Lines, lines, man. That kind of works. Stay grounded when the fuck he does that. I am going to fucking destroy that shield of yours to where it is never able to fucking do that damn bullshit again. That is the most broken, convoluted piece of shit that I have seen today. Sorry. <laughs> I swear. He'll be like, oh, I'm about to have my second round of ACS overload. Mmm. Mm, I think not. As I just jumped in the good. What are you doing, you bitch?
<laughs> Thank you. Uh, we back, baby. <laughs> uh. Ha. What an AC fueled by Spike can do. See, Iguazu, you just didn't have enough hate at the end of the day. But anyways, it was too- Too bad I can't just all of a sudden become, uh, Snail Teus. That'd make the next fight real easy. Uh, yeah, what I said. But with that out of the way, it was time for the true final showdown, and, well, I'll just let everything play out for the finale. Imagine being air and hearing that. That's just like, uh, please, take care of this man. Woo! Oh shit, how in the fuck? Ah! What? None of my buttons were working for a split second. Is he a new type? No. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that my reign of my own missiles tracing me was kind of cool. Really? 
you, bitch. Oh, thank God for the missiles. Oh, wait. I don't think that was a missile. Maybe, I don't know. Whew! Alright, GG. I guess I can hit the timer now. There's some bullshit happening with that core loss later tracking, but oh well. All in all, it was a fun last few fights with Walter to see things off with this run, and with that said and done, we'll just fix the death counter real quick. There we go. But yeah, I actually really enjoyed this run. I got to keep it below 25 deaths, got Shaddy another endgame boss clear, and that was some AC loadouts I really liked that may or may not have already been recorded for future videos, but yeah. I'm trying to get them out at least every week or two, and if you ever want to catch one of the runs while they're going on, I'm usually streaming over at Twitch on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, with the weekday starting at 8pm Central Time and Saturday starting at 6pm. Occasionally, I may miss a day of streaming to work on the videos, but I try to stick to the schedule as best I can. Thank you all again so much for the support and suggestions, I really hope y'all are enjoying the videos, cause next up we will have O'Keefe and his barren flower before we make our way back to some of the other contenders for All Minds plans. These are actually some of my favorite runs so far, so I can't wait to share how everything went. Anywho, make sure to take care of y'all selves, and I hope to see y'all around next time. Peace!